My name is Alexandra Aguilar and I'm going to be talking about the movie He's Just Not That Into You. The movie He's Just Not That Into You 2009 came up a few years ago at the movie theater. I'm not going to lie, I was pretty excited to watch this movie when I first saw the trailer. I thought that the movie was going to be really good just because there are several good actresses in it. Also because I really love the romantic comedy movies. And there are a few actors like Ben Affleck and Riley Cooper that makes the movie even more interesting. In February 2009, the movie came out and I asked my friends to go see it with me. The movie is about nine people that discuss about how dating is difficult. While watching the movie, I couldn't resist thinking to myself, why do they make women look so stupid? Like if they didn't know anything about relationships. I didn't want to be negative when watching the movie, but it was so hard for me because I didn't like having to see women depending on men in every aspect of their life. And when the woman would talk about their relationships, they wouldn't give useful advice. Instead, they would just tell each other what they wanted to hear. He's just not that into you. It's basically about different women struggling with relationships. We see the girl that has not found love yet, and she has to get advice from a guy because she is dumb and she doesn't know how to handle it. We also see the woman has, that has an extrem, extramarital relationships with a married guy. And finally, the mo woman who loses, whose longtime boyfriend does not want to marry her. In this movie, women are portrayed as stupid, psycho, and desperate when it comes to relationships. And they spend all their time thinking about their relationships with men. This movie lectures us that if we want to be in a relationship, we have to be super pretty, nice, and if we don't like something, it is better for us to stay quiet. It also tells us that we need a man to be happy because we need someone to be there for us. We can do anything without men. The movie starts with a little girl at the playground when a little boy pushes the little girl down. And the little girl's moms console her by telling her that the boy likes her. So it teaches girls that if a boy is mean to them, that means that the boy likes them. There was a also a part of the movie where the actress Jennifer Aniston is asking Ben Affleck when they're going to get married. But why can't they re reverse the roles and have the guy ask the girl? Another scene of the movie was when the camera cut to two black women sitting on the bench. And one of them says, girl, you better get yourself some ribs and some ice cream because you've been dumb. Why do they have to make it seem like guys are really the, one, the ones to dump women? I don't understand what they make this type of movie knowing that young girls are watching it. What are they going to learn by this? That they're, they are women and they're going to be dumped by someone? Or that if a guy treats them bad it's because they love them? Hollywood characterized women as needy. But in this movie, they went further. I was really disappointed when I finished watching the movie. I couldn't believe how women are portrayed in this movie. This is what young women see in movies, and it's really important to teach them that women have gone too far, always fighting to have equal rights, and these type of movies don't help at all. He's just not that into you, does not help our young women, because unfortunately, Unfortunately, all it teaches us is that if we're in a relationship, we have to stay it. We we have to stay in it, even though the guy treats us badly, because it is better to be with someone than be alone. The message of this movie is that women are desperate and need a man to leave. I'm going to rate this movie with two sad faces out of five sad faces. Because even though it has really good actors in it, 
The movie has two ministers types, portraying women as stupid.